We're coming out to the coast, having a few laughs. That's right, it's Die Hard, the Nakatomi Heist board game from the op. This Lone Ranger vs. Gang of Thieves action adventure pits one player as John McClane versus up to three opposing players as Hans Gruber and his merry band of armed robbers. As John McClane navigates the Nakatomi Plaza, attempting to rescue his soon-to-be ex-wife and the hostages, the thieves try to either take John out with a well-placed bullet or open the vault lock to get the cash and win the game. Setup begins with team selection. One player takes the role of John McClane and takes the player board and associated action cards, dividing them into three separately shuffled piles based on their act, one, two, or three. Take the act one cards and have John draw five to form his starting hand. The remaining players take the role of thieves and shuffle a shared deck of thief action cards. Each thief draws three action cards to form their starting hand. Next, place the game board center, Act 1 side up. Don't unfold it yet. Create a supply of game tokens, support and draw blood cubes, and a die nearby. Separate the objective cards by type and act, as well as the objective tokens. Shuffle the lock cards and create a deck next to the lock progress card. Place a support cube on the topmost box of the lock progress card. Now it's time to set up Act 1. First, take the objective cards for the first act and reveal them on the board. Place the ammo tokens and shoes on their respective objective cards. Randomly place the John McClane objective tokens on the red spaces and the thief objective tokens face down on each of the dark gray obstacle spaces. Place the John McClane figure on his starting space and one thief token on each of the green spaces. Finally, set up the vault lock by drawing two lock cards and staggering them to form a two by four grid of numbers. Gameplay occurs in turns, during which John McClane and the thieves each choose a single card to play from their hand. The thieves, however, are not allowed to verbally communicate during their choosing process. Depending on the number of players on the thief team, they select their action cards in a variety of ways. For one thief player in the game, they draw two cards from the action deck and select a third from their hand. For two thief players, one player takes the lead thief marker and draws the top card of the action deck, reveals it to their teammate, and places it face down on the table. Both thieves then add a single card from their hand to the table. For three thieves, the lead thief draws a card and shows it to their two teammates before placing it face down on the table. The other two thieves then silently add a card from their hand to the table. After players have chosen their action cards, John reveals his first and takes the action listed for the current act on the card. After John's actions, the thieves then resolve their three cards by revealing them and arranging them in order of highest to lowest number on the top left of the card. The highest and lowest values will be used to break through the vault locks on the turn, while the middle card provides the thieves with their actions for the turn. I'll explain actions in a sec. Let's look at the vault lock first. The thieves are attempting to break through six levels of locks and then a final seventh level once the FBI shuts down the power in Act 3. To break the first six locks, the thieves use the ones digit on the outside two action cards to cover a number on the lock card. They may only cover one of these numbers on their turn unless the numbers they've revealed on their cards are adjacent on the lock. Once they complete a lock, the thieves advance the lock cube down a space and create a new lock of the size listed. After the thieves and John have resolved their cards, John places his played cards on his board and the thieves pass the lead thief marker to the left. During his turn, if John has two or less cards in his hand, he must discard both and draw a new hand of five. If he ever cannot draw more than two cards because his deck is depleted, he dies automatically losing the game. Play continues with John attempting to complete his objectives and move to the McLean goal space in order to move on to the next level of Nakatomi Plaza. If he does, the next act is set up with a new map, new objectives, and new hazards. Let's take a look at those actions. 
Move allows the player to move their figure orthogonally up to the number of spaces listed. Moving through a gray obstacle space takes two moves, while all other spaces take one. Shoot or punch are attack actions that either remove the figures from the board or force John to discard a card from his hand and provide the thieves with a draw blood token on their objective. Shoot requires line of sight and a distance of at least one square between the shooter and the target, while punch requires adjacency. The shooter rolls a die and must roll higher than the number listed to hit. Sneak allows John to move a number of spaces listed, but he can also move through enemy controlled squares and move through obstacle spaces at a cost of one per space. While sneaking, John can't be targeted by a punch or shoot. Shove allows John to move an adjacent thief one space orthogonally, provided he rolls a die with a higher result than the value listed on the card. Recover allows John to take the top card of his discard and add it to his hand. Support lets John add a red support cube to the radio objective, aiding his attack rolls in future turns. Lock allows the thieves to cover a single numbered space on the current vault lock. Reinforcements is a special action that the thieves may use if they have less thief figures on the board than their starting number for the current act. If so, they may forego all their actions on the turn to discard their middle card and return a thief figure to the board on a green space. And that's the actions. Any action can be replaced with a move one action, like if a team has punch but no enemies are in range. And the lead thief has final say on any disagreements on actions for the thief turn. Play continues through the three acts, with John moving through the plaza and the thieves attempting to stop him and break into the vault. The game ends once one of the following events occurs. John McClane dies, the thieves win. The thieves break into the vault, the thieves win. Or if John can kill Hans Gruber, he saves Holly, the hostages, and wins the game. And that's Die Hard, the Nakatomi Heist board game. I'm Becca Scott, and by the time you've seen this video, I'll be sitting on the beach, earning 20%. You can watch me and my friends play this game and other awesome games on Game the Game, right here on Geek and Sundry. Happy trails. <laughs> <laughs>